Alright guys, we're taking on Norman today, and we've got a bit of a complicated strategy because this is a double battle. I'm going to be leading with Gyarados and Primeape, Gyarados having Waterfall, Rock Smash, Balance, and Double Edge, Primeape having Brick Break, Rock Slide, Reversal, and Endure, then we have Zatu, Psychic, Drill Pack, Nightshade, Wish, this is a pivot, we've got Slacking, Crush Claw, Super Power, Encore, Double Edge, this is both a pivot and kind of like an emergency KO button if necessary. We got Golem with Head Smash, Earthquake, Body Slam, and Self Destruct. And Agron with Head Smash, Flash Cannon, Super Power, and Earth Power. Now, there is no way I can 100% consistently force out Snorlax with this team. But, and the reason why I want to force out Sn but I'm going to try to. The reason why I want to force out Snorlax is because it cannot attack if I don't touch it. So I can just focus down the other side while it curses up. And then Intimidate stall it. So now, we got Gyarados and Primeape out front. Because of the Intimidate from Gyarados, the only move that Slacking sees that kills Primeape is Hyper Beam. So I can Endure with Primeape and then KO the Espeon with two double edges. If, if Espeon gets KO'd while Gyarados is on the field, there's a 50% chance Snorlax comes out. Whereas, um, the, the next best chance to get a Snorlax out is 25%. So this is my my best shot at doing it because you have a 50% chance to get Swellow and a 50% chance to get Kangaskhan as you KO the slacking slot and that's really important. So now I'm going to double edge the Espeon and reversal the slacking and they both are recharging this turn. So. I take out both of these, and there's a fit, and the slacking either goes into Kangaskhan or Swellow, and the Espeon either goes into um, Swellow or Snorlax. If Swellow is in, then it goes Snorlax on both. So I've actually got pretty good odds here. Nice. So yeah. This is guaranteed to go Snorlax out of the Espeon slot. Okay. So Snorlax is guaranteed to come in here. Perfect. Now this is exactly what we wanted. We're going to double switch out to Golem plus Agron, as both take paltry damage from... Uh, what do you call it? Swellow's moves. This has a uh, double edge sky attack, steel wing, and HP ground. So now th th we're not going to take much damage from this. Snorlax is using stockpile, which is fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head smash with Golem as I go into Gyarados here on the HP ground because Swellow is going to see more damage with HP ground on Agron than it will see from Steel Wing on Golem. And Intimidate ensures that Snorlax's curses don't get out of hand. That's exactly what happens, and Head Smash is gonna knock this out the park. So now that Swellow has been KO'd, the AI goes into. Sorry. Goes into. Is King yeah, AI always goes into Kangaskhan here, I think. Could be mistaken. Kangaskhan is very good to get out here, because it always clicks fake out turn 1, right? And it probably fakes out the Gyarados, because A, it's faster, and B, it has more speed. So I think I can just stay in and head smash here, as I can safely go into Agron. It fakes out the golem, which is like not a big deal. Right here, the Kanga has super power, so it should click super power into the Agron slot, as it does more damage, and then I can switch out Agron into... I'm gonna go into Zatu this time, because this should draw out a Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball slash Crush Claw. Both of which uh, are free pivots for Agron. After KOing this, Tauros will come in.
So, what do I want in for Tauros then? So, so Tauros has Body Slam, Iron Tail, Earth Power, Quick Attack. So I'm, so what I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna want to KO this with Kangaskhan, and then have Agron out when Tauros comes in. Because that way, I can go Agron into Gyarados to get an Intimidate off on the Tauros, as it uses HP ground. Okay, it used it on Golem. That's fine. Golem can take one. For a second there, I thought it, it superpowered the Agron and got really tense. Okay. Now, this is actually an especially bad situation. Actually, it's not too bad. So the Tauros is going to either Iron Tail, Iron Tail Golem, or it's going to Earth Power the Agron. So I can 100% guard against that right here because I can double switch again. Orin Berry from Golem does help a little bit, and I'm actually going to turn on HP bars because I need to pay attention to those. So let's actually see what it does. So. I've got Golem in versus Tauros. Leader Norman, minus one attack. It does not see a KO with Iron Tail. Let's check Agron. It doesn't see a KO with Earth Power either. So yeah, it's exactly 50-50. So I'm gonna go Gyarados, and I'm gonna go Zatu. That's why these pivots are important, guys. Okay. So now, Poros is at minus two. With Gyarados. Ouch. It Earth powers the Zatu. Okay. That's fair. Um. Now, this will... It sees more damage on the Zatu, and Gyarados takes nothing from this, so I think I can stay in for a turn and Rock Smash as I go into Aggron here. And then Aggron is gonna bait out an Earth Power, obviously. Ooh, it Body Slammed the Gyarados, interesting. So it doesn't really take into account um, which mana does more damage to. Hmm. So what I'm going to do here, is I'm going to do a, a double switch again. The AI should, if it attacks, into this slot. You know what, I think it's going to earth power the Aggron, and once, like I said before, I'm still not dead to, um... No, actually, I want to be swapping out Gyarados to ensure the Snorlax doesn't get out of hand, so... I'm going to go Gyarados into Golem. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, that's not great. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. I might lose my golem because of that. Okay, I barely lived. That's actually fine though, because the AI 100% sees a KO on the golem here. So I'm going to, I'm gonna go for double edge for increased. No, I can't. I can't double edge for recoil reasons. So I gotta rock smash the Tauros. And then I have to go into... I think I'm gonna go into slacking here. It iron tails into the slacking. It should do nothing. I do get a defense drop. Okay. Let's check my slacking speed compared to this Tauros. With speed boost, it's slower. Okay. The Tauros can attack- the Tauros actually doesn't have a fighting move. So I'm gonna pivot Gyarados into Agron, and then take this out with Crush Claw. This should be 100% safe. There we go. Okay. We should be in the clear now, we just gotta PP stall the Snorlax until it's out of rest PP. I haven't actually been taking uh, stock of the rest PP, so I'll go one now. Uh, rest. How much PP does rest have? Um, sorry, I'm gonna. 
this is going to just take a second, but I have to look this up to make sure. I think it's used at least two. I remember seeing it saying it went for rest before. So I'm going to assume it's used two exactly. Okay. So rest. No changes. So... Um... In Gen 3, how much PP does Rest have? It has 10. Okay. So, it has 8 left. So, what we're just gonna do is spam switch around a bit. And while it's not doing any damage, I'm gonna use Zatu to wish up some Mons. Because that's, that's actually one of the biggest reasons I wanted Zatu for this fight. So it could wish up its team members. Uh, once I'm stalling the Snorlax, so that's three rests used. I'm gonna switch out to Agron, and then I'm gonna use Wish. Let's see it. Nice. How many... Another rest, that's four. So, Agron switch into Gyarados. And then I'm gonna pass the Wish to Golem. This should heal a, a, a good amount. And then I think I'm gonna... Depending on how much HP the Golem ends up at here. Probably we can get a little bit above 100. Let's see. Nice, yeah, it's at 100. So yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna wish up the Gyarados next, so... We're gonna double switch again. He's used up four rests, I believe. Yeah. Oh, Zatu's already been selected, my bad. He's used five. I think he's used six, actually. I wasn't paying attention last turn. Um, so I'm gonna wish. And then I'm gonna go back into, um, slacking, I suppose. Actually, Golem. This is a bit stally, but I'm just playing optimally right now. Using Rest, so that's 7 used. I'm gonna go Gyarados. And I'm gonna go Agron. Okay. Another Intimidate. Making sure it's not doing much damage. Agron comes in, uses another rest. So that's, yeah, that's eight used. Nice, Gyarados is back at full. So now, Zatu being in doesn't really serve me much purpose. I'm actually gonna go Primeape out of the Gyarados slot and Golem out of the Agron. Because it's running low on rests now. If it doesn't use rest this turn, I'm just gonna assume I miscounted. Yep, okay, yeah. So I, I just miscounted. I'm going to reversal this and head smash it. Okay, let's see it. Reversal does so much damage, man. Ooh, okay, yeah, I should KO it here. Even if he uses rest, I'm fine. And I should have the win. Let's see it. Come on. You can do it, boys. I believe in you. Okay, you're so close. Come on. Head Smash should do that much. Let's go! Norman has been defeated. It was an extremely stally and, uh... And long battle, but we came out of it with no deaths, which it's the first time we've come out of a major battle with no deaths in a while, honestly. But really happy with how I played, really happy with how that went. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.